I'm going to do my sketch. I'm painting raspberries. I don't really eat them that often. I guess because they're expensive, but that's not even it. They're very delicate and they're not always sweet, but I did make a run to the store and bought all this fruit and I don't know if it'll be ripe, but I plan on painting it. So hopefully I will, it will be good enough to eat afterwards. And of course I'm filming and you're seeing what I'm seeing but from a different angle. I'm looking straight on and the camera's set up to the side. When I'm painting, I'm always thinking in the back of my head, be holding it, you know, whichever way I hold it doesn't matter. But always thinking of composition, even if it's in the back of my head, placement of objects, composition, color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As I was drawing, I noticed that some of the things were not in the exact placement, but I decided I'm just making it work for me. Now, when I paint in watercolor, I do mix on my palette, but I do use color straight, which is very different than when I'm setting up oil or acrylic and I set up my colors and I mix. I rarely, hardly ever use an unmixed color in my oils and acrylics. I just kind of soften them up with another color. But uh, with the watercolors, I do, and what I m may do, I'll go back either over an area or mix while it's still wet and put another color in. So I'm actually mixing the color either on the page, letting it dry, and then going over with a light another color, kind of even it out and bring unity to it. So I'm working with raspberries and here I am just going with my basic, you know, color and back to just the color wheel and simple colors. Even putting a little bit, I'll do it. You can add a little bit of your palette, bring it across the page. So I like to do, and also mix either here to soften it, put a little bit of an opposite, like put a little bit of the green and the red to soften it and to add, use for that shadow, brings a little more life to the color. my little bounty. I do have my schedules. Like Monday I have an Italian class because I do spend a lot of time in Italy, always trying to improve there. So we're doing that on Zoom. So, you know, I have to prep for my homework and just get ready for that meeting. I have some regular Zoom meetings with friends, one standing one on Friday. I have different things. So I try to keep that schedule going. I do paint every day, certain things I do every day. And you know, please drink your water, get up, eat healthy, feel pretty, get, get dressed for dinner. Act like you're going out to meet friends. Why not? Do you remember those good humor fruit pops? It was before the frozen fruits, which I love also. I haven't seen them. I haven't had one of them in a while. But they had lemon, they had lime, they had a raspberry one. They're so good. It just came to mind as I'm painting these. And good humor was actually a bicycle with a, it did have some trucks, but it was a bicycle. And then it had a freezer attached to it and it was stocked with dry ice, I guess. I was doing the blueberries yesterday and today I'm doing raspberries and I'm adding a little bit, a touch of uh, blue in them. This white container I have here actually is working out nicely with the berries. I put, just to say how I set up this little still life, I didn't have many raspberries, so I put paper napkins underneath so they're more visible and uh, made it easier to. Raspberries, I think these little clusters, they're so delicate. After this, one of the other things, one of my other projects is to get this on my Shopify. I'm trying to open that up. I'm into virtual shows, one with Quatri Gallery, which we got set up and they went virtual. Happened on the 14th, actually, of March. And I'm in another virtual show at Plaxwell in Long Island City, and they're online. I have, I have to post that on my uh, website. If you got my newsletter, I included a yoga instructor who's on YouTube and also gives classes, and Leslie Sansone link. 
and there's some other things that you could refer to. And you could find that actually on my website. You can find my newsletter there too, at the bottom if you scroll down. So those resources are there. I know some people have found them helpful. I listened to Happier with Gretchen Rubin. I listened to that before I started painting. I like listening to my Italian videos. Italian Made Easy with Mono. He explains a lot in English and then goes over different things and there's different levels. And I love listening to Learn Italian with Lucretia. There's different levels too, but the newer things are done in Italian and you could get the subtitles. I have the subtitles on in Italian, so hearing the words and seeing it kind of helps me and reinforces my speaking. Always trying to get a little better. <laughs> Italian friends are very patient with me in Italy. <laughs> One day I'll be super fluent. And my blue with contrast. So funny. I don't really look at raspberries a lot. I feel like I should just be painting one. <laughs> Now this is a 140 pound paper, and this was a pad that I found. I'm just kind of using up. Oops. Clean my brush more. I get a little. my violets. I need this to dry a little bit because I want to put those little dots. Bleeding a lot. Bleeding is, you know, as the paint spreads. It can be nice, but we want to have a little bit. Should have clean water. I'm going to sign it, let it dry. Also, this is good to add the little details. Thank you for hanging out with me this morning. Or if you're watching this later, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate it. And please leave a comment. If you want to leave a comment, I hope you're safe and tuning in. When I'm painting freely, I like the six. It's a bigger brush. I have the tip and I can also do more washy areas. So you'll see that my dial is a little freer and more painterly mm, what does painterly mean uh so it's not this you know very exacting but more of a free flow here we go there's the raspberries i will let you know if they're sweet uh, i hope you have a sweet day take care be safe and see you soon